<laughs> hey everybody, Friendly Neighborhood Program Coordinator here with you tonight to discuss Cinco de Mayo. So in case you fall down that rabbit hole where you can't remember what day it is, what week it is, what month it is, or what time it is, it's Cinco de Mayo. And things that you might not know about Cinco de Mayo, it is not Mexican Independence Day. Mexican Independence Day actually falls on September 16th. So Cinco de Mayo commemorates the Battle of Puebla, which was a battle during the French-Mexican War where the French were most likely to win. I mean, if I had been a betting man, it would have been on the French. They had more men and more weapons, but the Mexican army, the underdog, was triumphant. And so in 1862, President Benito Juarez uh, declared it a national holiday. Now, some interesting things about that. It's no longer a national holiday in Mexico. And in fact, uh, in 2005, we declared it, the U.S. declared it a national holiday. And we started celebrating it in 1933 because FDR uh, created the Good Neighbor Act to kind of build relations, better relations with our Latin American neighbors. So uh, technically, we in the United States celebrate it more than Mexico in some ways. Um, and the largest Cinco de Mayo celebration in the world actually happens in Los Angeles, which I think is pretty fascinating. Uh, there is actually a, an official cuisine of Cinco de Mayo. It's called Mole Poblano. And it's that, that uh, characteristic chocolate sauce with chili and lots of spices. Um, it doesn't say what else Mole Poblano goes with. It just says Mole Poblano. So yeah, I guess enjoy. Um, and another really interesting thing is that um, Vancouver, I think it's Vancouver, or in general, Canada in general, celebrates Cinco de Mayo with an air show. They literally do like skydiving aerobatics. I think it's really awesome. Anyway, uh, oh yes, and Washington DC, and I think it's Arizona also, do a Chihuahua race. I think it's kind of cute anyway. Ah, <sighs> Cinco de Mayo, guys. So enjoy your tequila, your margaritas, your whatever it is. I'm going to have some tea. But uh, happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone.